Chicago in the winter, the pain from the cold feels like someone is breaking your face. If you stay in an encampment and you have a bottle of water, the chances are they're going to be frozen. I always wonder at the end of the winter why is no more people die because it is so cold. The homeless problem in Chicago is getting bigger and bigger. So when they see us, we give them hope, see what the needs are, and then we try to provide it. This is why we're there. The Night Ministry was founded in 1976 to bring health care onto the streets for people who needed it. The work that we're doing is helping people to survive from day to day and hopefully getting them connected to a better life in some way, whatever that might be. We have a very large bus and it provides medical services, warm clothes, food also, case management services, getting people connected to employment, housing. The Night Ministry bus only goes in high crime neighborhoods where kids and families are not unfortunate to help themselves. It means a lot to the community. When you look at all the people on hard times, this bus is an is a, a angel bus. We don't charge for our medical care, yeah. which means it really focuses on the relationship with the client and what they need in that moment. Homeless folks, there's a stigma attached, and when they try to access care, they're very often treated very poorly. They have terrible experiences. They don't want to engage, and they only do it if they're really, really sick, which obviously you know, puts them past the point of an easy fix a lot of times. So just as important as anything we do is to reestablish those connections and to give them a little bit of hope, that little spark. Our street medicine program goes visiting all the various tent encampments around Chicago, providing all the services we provide at our health outreach bus. Good morning, night ministry. How are you doing? Everybody okay? Yeah. I'm a physician. I'm providing medical care. Most need food or warm clothing but that's an avenue to trust us in case they have health issues, addiction issues, wound issues, mental health. And when you're cold and you're hungry, that's not as important. So we have to meet the basic needs before we talk about those factors that have got them here in the first place. This is my like sixth winter. So it's amazing. Yeah, I'd be a lot more messed up without it. It's a lot of people who don't have the means to get services. I mean, it's hard to ask for help. And I enjoy every time I come over here. They're beautiful people. And I enjoy everything they give me. Clothes, food, something that I don't need to have. But I thank them every day when I come here. They never turn me down. We had a guy last week who was like, you know, my, my feet are wet because I have fabric shoes on. But we rarely get shoes between size 12 and size 16, but I did find one pair and we did give it to him yesterday. And you could see this young man try not to cry. And he's like, this is exactly what I needed. This is for this little victories and we are there. When the bus pulls up to any of its stops, it's like a little sanctuary area. I like the reliability of knowing that they'll be here. Having the most essential things I need from medicines, food. You like oranges, Miss Pew? Good coffee or chocolate. Great memories are in this bus. <laughs> we want them to feel like they're human, because sometimes they're feeling a little less than. Don't shy away from homelessness. Notice that it's there, and think about ways you can act. The people in the neighborhood, they'll protect them, because they're providing for the neighborhood, and a lot of people respect that. As a human, you have the right to be healthy. Regardless if you're a drug addict, if you have mental disease, or if you fall on hard time, we should be able to offer this to every single people in America. We can teach people to change their life so they can have a better life. You cannot ask for more than that, I think. <laughs>